Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. This is not a daily bits. This is a long form video. I'm going to rant a lot. As much as I can anyway. So, <laughs> because I'll probably stutter and stumble all over this. Um, if you guys have been watching the channel long enough, you know I'm very uh, open about some things that I don't like. You know, I don't like bullies. I don't like domestic violence. I don't like human trafficking. I especially don't like child predators or P words that like to look at CP, which don't look up what CP means. Don't look at CP. Don't do that. Please. God, no. Uh, as a 36 year old man, I still don't want to know what that is. I know the definition of it, but I will never look it up. Uh, there's been this epidemic of uh, this stuff coming out as of late. You hear about sex trafficking, child trafficking, human trafficking. Um, it's it's big. It's all over the place. It's actually in our backyard. We actually have people in the Tri-State area that's actually been caught for human trafficking, as well as handling stuff like CP, um, which is gross. Um, I, I, I don't have anything I could particularly say that's good about somebody like that. Uh, somebody that is sick enough in the head to go after a child. And whenever I say child, I mean from newborn to when you're, you know, whatever age of consent is. And even then, like, maybe, like, uh, if you're, like, a 40-year-old guy going after an 18-year-old girl, like, you know, you're cutting it there. Um, but you hear these horror stories about this stuff, and you hear about... Um, you know, famous people, uh, doctors, uh, your neighbors, or something like that, you find out that they're these kind of monsters, and they're not humans, okay? Um, I'm not going to feel sorry for these people, because, again, they're not humans. I'm not going to humanize these people. Um, it's funny, because when these people end up in prison, the prisoners do not humanize them. They brutalize them. Uh, in my opinion, it's well-deserved. Now, that might be a controversial thing to say, but to me, I don't find, um, I don't see anything wrong with it. If you want to go uh, try to diddle a kid, maybe you should get, you know, beat on a little bit. Maybe every single day. Um, that's probably controversial, and it's probably going to get this, uh, you know, this video taken down probably. I don't know. I don't care. Um, so there's a specific one that I've been looking at lately. He's actually all over the place. And he's actually, he used to be a pretty big YouTuber. Uh, EDP445. Now, from what I could tell, what I've read from him, what the videos I've watched of him, and the stuff that's come out as of late, uh, he was sort of a commentary, comedic um, kind of channel where he talked about sports and just bullshit and disgusting things. And there's been numerous times where he said they should lower the uh, age of consent to really young. There's been times where he's got caught several times um, trying to meet up with children, or he would call cupcakes. I don't need to tell you how disgusting that is. Now, this guy, I think he's, what, maybe 40, 45? I don't know how old he is. He's an old man. He's I'm he's old, he's overweight, he's a big guy, and right now there is you know a lot of evidence of this guy doing these things. Now I know of EDP because EDP a while back actually uh did a shout out to Chile, saying you know how Chile's been getting harassed by people and he's suing people because of it. Well, EDP's doing the same kind of stuff. Now, there are some channels that are actually getting strikes and getting their videos taken down from making videos about this guy, um, basically calling him out for what he is. Now, as I remember, I'm pretty sure that YouTube stated they are a safe network for people. They want to keep it safe, right? Uh, a safe space of sorts. Now, I know that doesn't happen because we have people like, I don't know, Turtle Boy or Chili or the Sopsits or stuff like that that get on here and try to sell you something that could possibly get you killed or do something stupid that can put you in jail or take your money or, in EDP's case, probably try to get with your children. 
I think that's disgusting. I think that is totally disgusting. Uh, I don't see a room for it in any area, any area. And this guy, you know, he's upset now because people are calling him out, uh, catching him in the act more than once. And this guy is trying to clear his name. Now, apparently he's in bad health. That sucks for you, dude. I'm in bad health, but I'm not a child predator, so I don't really give a fuck. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I, you know, I can't, I can't humanize this person. I can't, I can't justify him. It was, it was a while back, um, on, I think it was TikTok and uh, some other uh, social networks where people were trying to justify pedophilia. And the way they was doing it is the pedophilia people was trying to hop in with the LGBTQ people, which the LGBTQ people said, fuck off and no. Uh, they wanted their own flag. They wanted to be like, love is love, no matter what the age is. And there was a term that was being thrown around. It was MAP, which is minor attracted people. That shouldn't exist. That acronym shouldn't exist. Why are you trying to normalize that? Why do these people want a flag? They're not getting a stripe in the flag. Nobody wants them in their group. Um, you know, just like Chile, nobody wants them in his their group. Uh, you know, I know what he's he's trying to rebuild his image. I know that. I've heard that. I've seen that. They say he's trying to get help. He said he's trying to see a therapist for these things. Um, I think the damage has already been done. Um, you know, I'm not saying he should. I'm not saying that because that's awful. I don't think anybody should. But should be punished. Should be punished. Should be in prison probably for a long time. Like for a very long time. You know, as somebody that has um, young niece and nephew or cousins. I would snap. I would snap. I would do terrible things if somebody tried to hurt them or touch them. That's just how I feel about it. So EDP calling kids cupcakes. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. You know, like it's the sad thing about it is, is like you're seeing how common and it's, becoming like you hear it more and more in the news but it doesn't seem like anything's done being done about it uh there's a new movie out it's called the sound of freedom uh, i was going to go to try to see this movie but i i haven't yet um mainstream media doesn't want people to see this movie hollywood doesn't want you to see this movie uh just because of what it you know is about and it's i think it's based on a true story pretty sure um it's disgusting. It's it's. I mean, it's disgusting uh, that this exists. And it wasn't just a long ago. Uh, my wife had somebody she knew that was is getting apparently put in prison for CP, and that's in my area. That's crazy. You 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 literally don't know people these days. You don't know who the psycho is. You don't know who the fucking freak is. I'm sorry, I hate to say that, but it's disgusting. And if you're doing this stuff, turn yourself in. Stop. Don't even look at it. Don't even try it. It's not okay. It's it's not okay. Don't do it. And if somebody tries to tell you, oh, it's a okay to do that, um, no, punch that guy in the fucking teeth. Really, really. You know, I don't care if it's a male or a female that's doing this. It's still pretty disgusting. And I know there's this double standard. You see, like, okay, you hear the, the, the teachers having sex with their kid, their students, and you'd be like, oh, the guys are like, that's nice. She's hot. Good job, dude. Um, but when the male does it, you know, pick, you get your pitchforks and axes. I think it should be the same way. I mean, uh, you know, as, you know, maybe as a teenager, I thought probably would have thought that was cool. It's like, yeah, I'm hooking up with my hot ass teacher. Awesome. 
But when you look at it at, you know, my point of view, at my age, I'm just like, don't, don't do it. I don't care how hot you are. Don't, don't do it. Don't. It's, it's gross. It's gross. Go away. Just get, get out of here. But, you know, like I said, I, I, I've been watching and been kind of looking into the EDP situation and it's just, it's just disgusting. Like it really is. It really is. Um, you know, I, I don't like in, any of this. I don't. And I do think he should go to jail. And I should, I think he should get therapy. Um, some people say it's a mental health thing and that may be, that may be. But nevertheless, that's disgusting. It, there was there was something like uh, Chris Chan. He was one of the biggest internet locales around, and I watched a lot about Chris Chan. Like I never knew about him, and this was like maybe earlier this year. I started looking into Chris Chan and how crazy this guy was. Um, he actually basically took advantage of his mom who was, I think she was dementia patient, basically, took advantage of her sexually. And I think he got, he had to serve time. Well, I guess he's out of prison and possibly going back to that same situation. So you really don't know how it's going to happen again. Like, you don't know. You don't know. And I, I was watching Turkey Tom. He had a video out recently. Um, I forgot the user, but it was this big ring of discord people that were in the cp and they was like addicted to it and um it was just a big nasty thing like really really bad really terrible 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 stuff my thing is like i said if you do the crime you should do the time especially that if you're out on the streets doing that, you should not be on the streets at all. You should not see the light of day ever again. Put you into the deepest dungeon they could possibly find and lock the, throw away the key. That's how I feel about it. I, I, I have no regrets about saying that. Like, I don't. Like, I think, I think if you're willing to take advantage of a child, or somebody like that. Or even even with domestic violence, like with you know people beating on their kids and wives and all that stuff, vice versa. Uh, you know, these people should rot. Honestly, don't tell me these people can change and they can be reformed. I don't really give a fuck. It's going to be what's in the book twenty years down the road when you look at the history of this person. The first thing that's going to pop out is, hey, this guy was a sex predator for, like, going after children. This guy was going after children. He was a fucking creep. You're not going to look at the good things he did. Like, people say, you know, same thing, you know, Hitler, like, you know, he did terrible things, and there's some good things he'd probably done. But he's still a fucking monster, just like these people. Monsters. Um, and there's no justification for them being around. That's just that's just my opinion. Probably probably too strong. Hope I didn't lose you guys on this. Um, we'll talk more about this as time goes. Um, like I said, I thought YouTube was a safe space to protect us against stuff like this. Um, they shouldn't allow this content on the platform, especially knowing the guy's history. You know, if they should delete his channel, if he keeps on making channels, keep deleting, deleting, delete. Same thing goes with like channels like Chili. Delete, 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 delete. No justification for these fuckers. They're all disgusting. They're all terrible people. And yeah, it's just, I, I don't care. I love you guys very much. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.